Today I'm gonna share an easy process with you how you can sing with an open throat. Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Freya Casey, professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. Open throat singing is very important because it helps you have better resonance, better overtone and just a nicer timbre. When everything is really closed, basically your sound becomes very nasal. In order to avoid too much nasality, you need to open your throat. And of course, easier said than done. I'm gonna give you some very simple tips on how you can achieve this. The most important thing is you have to optimize the sound of your vowels. Everything is based on ah, and that is my system, that is what I teach. If you have mastered ah, basically you know how to open your throat. Okay, so number one is you can either go by the sound of the vowel ah, and I'm talking about a German colored ah, like a nice open ah, or like an Italian ah, like a nice open ah, not an uh or an all, oh. nice pure open ah. Check the color of it. If you hear yourself sing a lot of amazing grace, how sweet the sound or Abends wenn ich schlafen geh. These are not pure ahs. Abends wenn ich schlafen geh. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The next thing other than just the sound is stand in front of a mirror and watch yourself doing that ah. If you can see behind your uvula and you can see an open space, then you have an open throat. So, ah, not open, ah, not open. Ah, nice and open. Make sure you have that open space way behind. The way you can achieve this is by really practicing these muscles like Not moving your jaw, only the muscles behind, right? It's your soft palate and also what's opposite that soft palate. You have to train those muscles. So basing everything on an ah is really the key to sing with an open throat. It doesn't matter what words you sing, everything is based on an ah. What I mean by that is everything should be a variation of an ah. So when I'm singing um, like a L, I'm not doing a closed throat, I'm keeping everything in the shape of the ah, except what is really relevant to change for the L, but only what needs to be changing for the L. So, ah, ah. so the tongue curls up a little bit behind the teeth, but further back in my throat, I stay in the exact ah position. Otherwise, my L becomes nasal, like, not a pretty sound and not very resonant. Let's try an S even, even an unvoiced S. If you just open and close the throat too much and have it closed when you're even not singing an ah, you have too much work to constantly do this with your muscles. You wanna to try to keep it in that shape as much as possible. Sa, sa, sa. Sa, sa. You can't see it, but I'm keeping the space back here, that pharyngeal space, I'm keeping it open. It goes for pretty much every vowel and consonant. Even when I'm doing a ga, 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 where of course your soft palate meets what's below there and it comes together. So basically it's almost like a nasal sound for just a split second, but ga, 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 ga. I have trained those muscles doing my ah and the maybe nga 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 and now I as soon as I'm going away from that g 
I'm opening back up because I want to base everything on that ah. It's going to help you so much when you approach everything that way. Everything is based on an ah. So when I sing Amazing Grace, it's not Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. It's really more like I'm thinking ah underlying everything. Amen. I'm only changing what's relevant to change from A to E here. It's not Amazing Grace. Ha ha. Ha. The ha is already in the opposition. How sweet, 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 sweet the sound. I want to keep my pharyngeal space as much as possible in the opposition. It's really a secret that if you can apply it, that's what I learned, and it opened up a whole new world of singing for me. Try it out. Let me know in the comments how this is working out for you. Have you found your awe? The A is the most challenging and it is truly difficult because there's endless shades that you could make, but make sure you listen for the pure A sound. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you also want to achieve a better open throat so you have a more resonant, a more beautiful voice. Check out all my free resources on my website, masteryourvoice.tv as well as my book, Master Your Voice, that you can get on Amazon. I also have an audiobook version available on my website. Check it out and listen to my podcast. It is free and it's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, anywhere where you can find podcasts. You can be on the go and you can hear me so I can be more of your personal vocal coach. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time. And until then, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Amen. Sing grace, how